Well, meanwhile, the surge in cases is causing many school districts to reassess their back to school plans. Now, in Brown County and in Scott County, some schools have already been forced to switch to virtual learning because of the large number of students in coronavirus quarantine. Dozens of other districts have updated their guidance to require masks. But in Monroe County, one school is refusing to comply with the county's mask mandate. And as Ethan Burks reports, school leaders say if health officials want to try and require them to mask up, they'll have to take them to court. Seven Oaks Classical School in Ellettsville opened its doors for the new academic year this week with an enrollment of just over 500 K through 12 students. Under the clear jurisdiction of the county's health order, school officials are not requiring children to wear face coverings. This is a um, parental decision to make as opposed to a health department decision to make. English says the school board made its decision back in June that classes would resume this fall under regular operations. He says regular means without masks. A good portion of them are unmasked. A number of them are masked, taking very seriously the health concerns that they have. The CDC modified its recommendations in late July to say schools in high-risk areas of COVID-19 spread should make their students wear masks. If they are deferring to parents instead of following the CDC guidelines, then they are in violation of the local health order. Monroe County reinstated its mask mandate last week after an increase in positive cases moved the county into the state's yellow advisory. The local health department then made the call to have schools align their masking policies with the CDC. But English says the Seven Oaks Board does not see a credible threat of the virus to its students at this point. There has to be a better showing by the health department that masking small children is to their benefit and not to their medical and psychological detriment. English says in the event of a school-wide outbreak, the policy could change and masks could come back. As for the county, it is well within their legal right to pursue penalties against the school. We will handle them the way we handle any complaint that we get. We investigate and try to get voluntary compliance. And if we can't, then, you know, we always have the option of issuing a fine. Rice says the maximum fine for violating the mask requirement is $500 per day. But that would require approval from the Board of Commissioners and possibly an injunction filed in Monroe County Circuit Court. We're looking forward to concentrating on education and not litigation. In the meantime, Seven Oaks will continue making masks optional. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ethan Burks. There is nothing currently on the county commissioner's agenda to publicly address Seven Oaks violating the mask mandate. The Board of Health is scheduled to meet on August 23rd to reevaluate masks in schools.